Oh, I forgot this is a keyboard only game. All right, time to remain, ladies and gentlemen. We're not going anywhere. <laughs> I don't even remember where I was at in this game. Tara was falling asleep. Oh yeah, I'm walking the streets of... Reality seems to be shifting. Reality is shifting. What the... Reality shifting? Huh? Oh yeah, I defeated like the giants in the last one. There were giants, by the way. Um, I don't remember any giants. I must have been unconscious. I had to collect like lion statues. Whoa, what the hell is that? Uh, where am I supposed to go? Let me see. Find the way, please. But I turn to Penelope when I play this game. <laughs> I don't know. But she's always welcome. Yeah. I must find home, please. <laughs> no, no more shadow people, please. Who are you, people, please? <laughs> <laughs> oh. They almost just grabbed me. Okay, what am I supposed to do? What is this thing? Huh? <coughs> Maybe I have to go in here. I feel like I have to turn something on here. What's that box spinning for? Okay. Inanimate objects are floating above me, please. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have my lighter anymore. God, this is annoying. Come on. I, I, I keep thinking like, okay, where am I? <laughs> I keep thinking like I could turn the lights on or something. <sighs> Can I push this over? Whoa! Alright, I have to figure this out. The light's blinking. There's like nothing I can interact with in either of the worlds, which is weird. get through what's this box doing please all right I'm about to look this up <laughs> this game is frustrating those who remain shifting realities I'm sorry. On Quora, 
Someone asks, if reality shifting is real, then what's stopping people from living in those realities? <laughs> That's a great question. And also, what happens to your family? I think someone's on drugs or has bipolar. What is happening here? This is it's really... This response is insane. At first when I found out about this whole reality shifting thing, especially because all I was seeing was, I'm shifting to Hogwarts, I was like, huh? Bullshit. But because I'm naturally curious, I decided to do some research, and then I found out I can reality shift. Okay. <laughs> Most people think that shifting is transforming your consciousness into another reality, but this is untrue. It's more about becoming aware of your existence in another reality. The multiverse theory made a lot of sense in this case, as the example of breakfast shows showed if i chose to eat an omelet instead of pancake for breakfast i was awakened to the reality that i'm eating an omelet so on a larger scale i would be awakening to reality that i'm in hogwarts or the okay. marvel cinematic universe and since there are infinite amount of realities your mind is only your mind is the limit so basically he's saying he's effing insane shifting is real and the scale of it means that we all do it but some of us just don't see anything larger than what society's predetermined us to see. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, so... Basically, no, we can't. <laughs> okay. Well, that guy has gone past it. He's like... I want to know what he did at Hogwarts, like, when he was there. Yeah, what did he do at Hogwarts? You should message him back. Be like, what did you... So did you go to... Ho did you get to Hogwarts? Or, like, what are you doing back here, then? <laughs> what what yeah welcome back bro <laughs> all right post office okay head back up and open the attic wait Locate the pedestal that's a little on fire. I think it'll be the attic. Turn around and locate the portal out. Head back. Open up in the attic. What's up top? You can grasp various items. Open boxes. Blocking the light. Alright, I've already done this. Supermarket. Reality begin to flick on the street. And you'll need time to make each section to make it to the next source. Follow until you're there at the supermarket. That's not helpful. Reality will begin to flicker on the street. And you will need time to time each section to make it to the next light source. Follow through until you reach the supermarket. Am I just dumb? You kind of are walking in circles, though. So try something new. I guess, yeah. That might be the... Yeah. So just be patient and, like, wait. I think that's the direction you need to be going in. Um. So, like, wait. Just wait. Turn back around. Now you're going backwards again. There you go. So just head in one direction. Stop turning around. No, keep going. So that's the end, huh? Okay. I goes. What the fuck is that? Oh. So that's the wall that's blocking me. Yeah, so you can't go past that point. Like, in both realities. <laughs> so wait. So, yeah, just... Yep. Yeah, go past that van. Keep going. I just want to see something real quick. Okay. What the fuck? <gasps> oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, I'm missing something along the way here. 
There's gotta be like a turn that I'm not seeing. Oh. That wasn't very fair. <laughs> that scared me. Yeah, wait. Rally seems to be shooting, yeah. Alright, I'm looking over here now, because this is the only area that I haven't really looked at. Can I, like, get up on top of this? Oh. Nope. Whoa! What? Weird. Okay. Here we are at the cop car again. I'm gonna go on the sidewalk. Turn around. Oh, wait a second, wait a second. If I end up here... Oh my <gasps> god. Oh my god, wow. That was it, oh my goodness. Is there another sidewalk now? See, that was just lazy. They did it again. Reality is shifting. Okay. Oh, Dormont. Uh, I still gonna. I guess. Oh, well, my mama. Do I? Am I guess? Am I done shifting realities? What's this? After the dust had settled just before the world's end, after all the villains and heroes were gone, a lone wolf stood in the peak looking at the sunset. Was this the end or the beginning? Some sort of manuscript? Oh. Why can't the buildings be full? There's something strange about this, this wolf. Looks like it's missing a crib. Why is this in the middle of the grocery store? Doesn't make any sense. It's nothing to do with groceries. Groceries have, they don't make any oh. What? Owl statue too. Do these photos have? What am I even looking at here? I don't know. I see like hay, and that's about it. I see like a woman with hair. Are these statues supposed to be facing something? Did that this... one needs to be have a crank. We need to find another crank. I don't know or if they were all connected. I don't know if you can take the crank from the owl, but... No. Okay. <sighs> There's pictures on every side of that crank. Oh. What's this? I feared that we would have to protect against the pillagers, but as it turns out, there's no one left to pillage. It's been weeks, possibly months, since I last saw someone. I've had enough. I'm going to try to escape. If you're reading this, you're probably the last person alive in Dormont. Wow. Radioactive... Uh... Goop. Not the goop. 
I'm waking. What has that stupid song go? I oh, don't even sing it. Don't even sing it. Oh, what's this? Oh, this that Imagine Dragons song. Yeah. The lift doesn't seem to work. Can I make it work? <gasps> oh. A physics puzzle. I like physics. How about you? <laughs> no, I failed. Were you good at physics? In school? Not really. I was good at physics. Why can't I click this? There we go. Did I tell you about my uncle? Who was a veterinarian? My dad's brother. He said if he didn't get into vet school, he was going to become a physicist. Interesting. Becoming a veterinarian is very hard, so... Yeah, that's why he was like, if I can't get, if I can't get in... I'm going to become a scientist. <laughs> a physicist specifically. And so did he. He became a he was a vet. Oh, he became a vet. Yeah. Cool. Nice. Smart man. Very Dedicated cool. man. His name was Tim. Tim. There was an eerie silence everywhere. Even the crickets in the wind seemed to be afraid to make a noise. The silence was dangerous and oppressive. Only the owl stood in his usual place, ignoring everything but the flowers. Okay, so we're supposed to be looking at the flowers. He had a pet bunny that he adopted. Yeah. And his name was John Quinn. The bunny's name is John Quinn. Yes. <laughs> That's but like... he, you had to say it like, John Quinn. No, no way. Yeah, it was John Quinn. The bunny. That was his name. J John Quinn. Yeah. So Bobby went to Arizona. Yeah. And he's hanging out with our old social media girl, Nicole, who's yeah. also in Arizona. <laughs> That's so weird. Okay, are they doing drugs? Uh, I hope not. <laughs> I like how that was your first thought. That's all I know about her. Is that she's a bad influence. That's all. Okay, so the wolf looks at the sunset. No, you, no, you're right. Bobby's a good guy, though. He's a smart enough guy. Hopefully he's not, like... Why is she in Arizona with her right now? Bobby's like on a traveling kick now that he's done with our company. Did she invite him out there? Like, what's going on? No, he just decided to go out to Arizona. Just drive out there? Yeah. Did he say why? Oh, not drive, fly. Did he say why? Like, specifically Arizona? Oh, I think he might have family down there. There was It, it was a bit of a complicated story. But... But yeah, but he was initially going down there for family. And then we're like, oh, you should say hi to Nicole. And now he's actually... Hanging out with her, which is wild. Did they... Didn't they, like, not know each other for that long? No, they didn't. They barely They're knew like, each other at all. <laughs> Like, what the fuck? Why? <laughs> I'm so confused. Um, I think Bobby was just looking for something to do, honestly. Am I, how, where am I supposed to find this other crank? Are they on a date? Honestly, for Nicole's sake, I hope so. <laughs> For Bobby's sake, I hope not. <laughs> Why for Nicole's sake do you hope so? Because your boyfriend is horrible. Oh, she's not a boyfriend. Yeah, her boyfriend's a cheater. <laughs> she's still with him.
this is it says the far right this is a small room says so the lying statue on your desk oh apparently we missed a statue uh. oh my god I need to get something okay whoa What the hell? I'm in The Shining. Shining now, Tara. Oh my god, really? Go. See. What the hell? What am I doing here? I don't know. How this do you feel about good. this? Um, I hope there's not an elevator. You think this is like, oh my god, this is so cool that they did this as a reference? Oh or yeah. Like whatever, whatever Eastern European person was like, I know what I'll do next, I'm going to make a... I'm going to make a Shining reference, no one's going to get this. Only the true film buffs are going to understand this one. Is this endless? Stanley Kubrick? No. <laughs> Go on forever. Oh, it's the devil. Bad conscience. It's the metal hell devil. Hell living so <laughs> the middle devil. <laughs> Hello, devil. Shit. Oh my god, who's that? I don't know. His eyes is cross-eyed. The devil, what happened? He's not even saying anything. Suicide note? Oh god. We all deserve what's happening in Dormont. We've been punched by someone or something. Maybe God himself is doing this. Everyone knew and saw how the new girl and her mother were being treated. It wasn't just the kids harassing the girl. Her mother suffered too. The jokes, everyone laughing at their clothes and the ways, their ways... Who are we to judge? No one ever tried to stop this. The kids were rebuked by their parents for constantly hurting the girl, but it wasn't really felt. How can it be if a parent is saying, don't do that with a smile on their face? I saw this with my own eyes. And that's not the only thing I saw. The night she died, she was running away from the three kids. 
She sped into the woods, riding her bike when the kids with the kids on pursuit. I saw them coming back later on, but I didn't see her. I assumed she had gone home, but she wasn't home. She was at the bottom of the cliff, hurting, dying alone because no one cared to search for her besides her mother. Guilt is not reserved for those who can hurt others. Those who know and do nothing are guilty, too. Oh, crap. I need to leave now. Who's up? The mom? Um. You said you what need the to hell? leave now? Oh, God. Oh, I need to go. This is... This is just like Dungeon Center Castle! Oh! This is fucking actually- that scared the shit out of me. That was so fucking loud. That actually made my hair stand up. Ooh. Damn, how long is this sequence? The fuck with these chairs! What door? <laughs> Jesus! So loud! <laughs> this road. That made my heart palpitate. <laughs> we need to sue this game for almost giving you a heart attack. Health conditions. Tara. You. You. Edward. Oh! Do you have any kids? What? I... I used to, yes. Used to? I had a daughter. Looking like the fifth gorilla member. <laughs> Why am I here? What was your name? Who? Your daughter. Rosie. Her name was Rosie. Rosie. Is she, why is she standing like that? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe she broke her back. Oh, yeah. Terry, you're so smart. Why did I take this road? Why did it have that to or she's just road? sassy. <laughs> <laughs> she's a sassy, sober bitch. <laughs> that doesn't sober. give a fuck. Sober, but still sassy. I want to wear a shirt that's, that says, I don't give a fuck about alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> I don't give a fuck about your cocktail. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't need to be reminded of Sometimes this. Sometimes I do, but like I don't let anyone know that. Daughter wasn't the only one who died that night. Okay, thank you, Metal Devil. Can you imagine a shirt? Blame me for the accident. That says I, I don't give a fuck about so your your cocktail, but then in really small print in parentheses it says, "Actually, I do. I just don't say anything." <laughs> no. I would, I would, I'd be Please like, "Don't bring it up. Thanks. <laughs> don't, don't bring up your cocktail. I want it." She said she's giving it Bobby the Arizona experience. Oh my God. That could mean so many things. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. My wife. My wife. Rosie was already dead when she reached the hospital. Oh, my daughter. My daughter. <laughs> <laughs> Carol. <laughs> she got impaled by a star. How the fuck did that happen? I can't bear to look at this anymore. It had to have been uprooted somehow. <laughs> See, I'm I'm good at physics, and I know that that's not what would have happened. Yeah, I don't think you're getting impaled by a stop sign. Are these all, like, people that maybe you know the people in the dark? 
Maybe. Imagine they all come out, and it's like, hold on a second. You're the sheriff that I condemned earlier. You're Mark. You're the kid that I condemned that was bullying Annika. You're Annika. Do you think that would be impactful? I think that- Oh no! It's the tit monster! What the hell? The thing is Carol from the accident. Oh. But why? That's what I want to know. Why is that Carol from the accident? Yeah, I want to know. Why does she look like that at all? <clears throat> Her tits weren't out in the accident, so why does she no, look like- No, they weren't. And like, that is- doesn't make any sense. Is that the fire station? It's a, um... And we're just learning about this now, so it's like, okay? See, it's a metaphor. She's bearing her chest, so she's, you know, bearing all her guilt. Or... I don't think this game is that, that <laughs> smart to even try to do that. Uh-oh, we're back at the sheriff. No, we're at the fire department this time. Oh my god. Oh, are brother. We, are we gonna condemn a firefighter? Who's actually an arsonist. He's been starting all the fires around town. <laughs> Condemned. I got to hell. Too. Oh. Don't do that. <laughs> Don't do that. I need to get through here. Oh, hey, devil. There's someone in this world that you need to find. Uh, why should I do anything you say? Look where we are, metal devil. Here? Who? You caused this in a way. Why should I listen to you? Why should I listen to some metal devil? <laughs> <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> Stop shifting my realities. My reality is shifting because of the metal devil. <laughs> <laughs> That's a one crazy sentence. <laughs> What's the title of the stream again? Not that. Um, no, I was just saying, what is the title oh, of this shoe? I can't remember even, it was so weird. It was whatever we were talking about. I can't remember. Oh, it was the mini PC for a mini PP. Oh, right. Mini, you said, you said mini P PC for a mini PP? Not me, though. <laughs> Not me, though. Door locked doors. Hopefully the key is around. Um, I can't get through there. <laughs> get the Ryzen 9. Not the Ryzen 7. Uh, 7. Little 7 millimeter. Little 7 mm. <laughs> mm. Uh, I like how you didn't say inch because that's actually not bad. What's in this <laughs> locker? Ah! Sorry, I got scared by whatever the heck that noise is. What's this? Crime and punishment. Okay. Do I go down the... I can't go down the fire pole? Alright, that's a 0 out of 10. What the hell? Oh. That mirror is ominous. Oh, yeah, man. Have you found anything in the lockers anywhere? No. I don't know why I, I, I'm compelled to but look. Like, why do they let you open it is the thing. Because this game was made in some game maker program that had all these things pre-installed. So it's just like, eh, leave it in the game. What's this? I'm a practical person. 
I'm not religious, and I don't believe in supernatural stuff, but what I saw last night can't be rationally explained. I was in the parking lot outside the diner, completely alone. All you could hear was the wind. Suddenly, there was a bang. I looked up and saw the light bulb from a nearby lamppost go out. And when I looked down, I was partially surrounded by a group of figures with glowing eyes. I asked them what they wanted, but they just stood there in the dark, looking at me with holding knives and axes. <laughs> I got in my car as fast as I could, and when I looked through the rearview mirror, no one was there. Oh, look, it's one of their axes. I thought that was the, I thought that was the, mini Ryzen Ryzen nine mini gaming PC. The mini, the mini PP PC. Yeah. Who knocked all these chairs over? My gaming laptop is Ryzen seven, I think. I don't even know what that means. <laughs> Um, I believe that's that is that's the type of CPU it is. See, I'm only margin. Taylor actually is smarter with the stuff than I am, cause uh, he knows his PC stuff. He's also got a very good memory. Yeah, am I gonna be able to make it through here without getting my butt kicked? I don't think no. so. They're gonna kick my butt. <laughs> oh, okay, I guess I can't. This game is so messy. <laughs> You're right. It's oh. just like, not great. <laughs> no comment. What do you mean no comment? <laughs> what did he mean about that? What the fuck? No comment. You don't even know what flag that is. <laughs> no comment. Okay, whatever. The game makers clearly hate that country, whatever it is. Yeah. Nat King Cole. Woody Herman. Some of the greats out here. Interesting. Stop watching crap on the laptop. The tech guys to come here every week to clean the computer of viruses. Find a way to pass the time. They were watching porn. That's sinful. What's this? Hug me. Why does everyone have like goth freaking like What did that do anything? Turn off the valve. You know what the other one looks like? It's missing a wheel. It seems a valve is missing. Tara. Yeah, valve. You're freaking so wise. I'm just gotten better at problem solving over the years. Tara's got good gamer sense. I've got fluoride brain <laughs> fluoride brain you drink mouthwash or something <laughs> <laughs> fluoride's blocking all my brain receptors but like why how is all the fluoride getting in there i i i don't oh what's this I, uh, look, Tara, there's actually something going in the lockers. Wow. Um, you had to check literally every single one. We got a call today from Uncle Jenkins from the milk farm. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Jenny <laughs> says... Uncle Jenkins. From the milk farm. <laughs> Jenny says <laughs> there's a poor connection. This one tastes like the cow. Got into <laughs> an onion patch. That's <laughs> I wonder if that's actually the case that happens to cows. Like, if they eat, like, certain stuff, their milk gets yummy flav. Um, yeah, probably. Like, if I, f if I fed them sugar cane, would it be really sweet milk? Honestly, yes. Yes, I'm sure it would be slightly sweet. Do you think the little tiny cows would like that? Probably. 
<laughs> like, think about it. Like, actually, yeah. I don't know if it's. I don't know if, if cows can like process sugar. Yeah, process sugar, but. <laughs> I mean, everything Everything has to process sugar at some amount, but yeah, it depends on, like, what the amount is. Because there's sugar or, in everything. Or can they even taste sugar? Because cats can't taste sweet. They can't? I don't think so. I think they can only taste salt, saltiness and bitterness. Hmm. Interesting. They only have, like, salt and bitter receptors, but... And so, like, f- sweetness, they can't taste, I'm pretty sure. I think they're they're also missing another um, flavor sense too. We'll have to look that up another time, though. The world is full of mysteries, Andrew. You're so right. You're right, though. It like is like Uncle Jenkins' milk farm. So yeah, it's just basically saying Uncle Jenkins disappeared. High rise, fire safety. Be cool about fire safety. Race and pass. Race and pass. Rescue. Alarm. Contain. Extinguish. What Pull, is this? Aim, squeeze and sweep. That's how you contain and extinguish a fire in a, st- a safe way. Wow. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> no, thank I'm eloquent. Thank you. I'm so eloquent with my words. Um, can you guys go away? Oh, I'm gonna die. Unless you can... Is that the Metal Devil? No. The Metal Devil! (laughs) Alright, I feel like I have to get to that workbench over there for the other wheel. Just gotta make oh a break for no! It. Why did that light go out, Andrew? It it keeps going on and off. Oh okay. No. Oh god. Who? It's gotta be in here somewhere. Hmm. Dude, at this point, I'm just looking up the answers for the stuff. This this game does. Talk about game sense. This game does not have good like leading. Okay, head up the staircase. Okay, apparently we did miss something in one of the lockers. I wasn't looking close enough. Oh my goodness! Well, there were so freaking many of them. But you had to go fast. Um, the fire seems to have turned off. What the fudge is that? Oh my god, that scares me. That is a giant worm- mud worm, Andrew. But... Why? What is- What's the mud worm doing here? I don't know. None of this makes any freaking sense. Why is there a mud worm? I'm, I'm, Frankly, I'm getting sick of this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting sick of these mud worms. Because we just learned about the main characters, like, like, car accident, how his wife and daughter died, and the other person that was in the crash died, Carol, and she's the monster that was following us around earlier. Beautiful flag. Why should I care? We just learned about Carol. Who is Carol? He likes this flag. He he likes this one, apparently. He said beautiful flag. We're learning that he has prejudice. Oh my god. You know what? I condemn this guy. (laughs) Yeah. Condemn him to hell. Um, or oh, maybe the other valve. Or the upside down again. Yeah. 
Can I go downstairs? Oh. If I go down, will I just die? Oh! <coughs> I'm back in my reality. What just happened? I gotta give I gotta give them credit. Like, why is this happening now? It's like flipping realities now. The worm is in both realities. It would seem. <laughs> no. I'm getting sick of this. I'm getting sick of this worm reality. <laughs> Okay, well, this was, uh, it's so unexpected that I'm in, like, the worm reality now. Uh, what am I, how am I supposed to know where to land? That's so funny that he screams that way. Oh, I see, okay. Okay. I guess I didn't go far enough. Crap. How do I get across? Okay. Oh, could I go in this room now? Oh, I could. I could always go in that room. This room's haunted. Okay. That one's a lot farther than it looks. Oh, you're gonna fall. Oh, I, 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 didn't fall. I didn't fall. Uh, is this room like... Okay, it's in both worlds. Okay, cool. What am I, uh, what am I doing here? Oh. Hit Excuse me. Well, there's a valve on the wall in that room. Is the reality's done flipping? Guess they're done flipping. All right, worm, it's time to die. Okay, it just dissolved. You better believe I dissolved that worm. Uh, cockroaches left in so its where wake. Where is this person I must find? Was the worm the person? The worm was actually my wife. <laughs> that lady was Carol and the worm was my wife? <laughs> uh. Mind blown. Mind flipping balloon. My back. Your back's bugging you? My lower back. How come? I'm just achy all over. She's um, she's achy. I don't know why my back is so well. Real life heroes. Yeah, you know, it's not that bad. The girl and her mom did nothing wrong. They were ostracized by everyone since day one. Why? Because they were different. Those who saw and said nothing are so much just to blame as the others, myself included. My own son. I still don't know what happened that night. I want to believe it was an accident. Hayden's a good boy. He just hangs out with the wrong crowd. We had to do this. We had to cover it up. It's our duty as parents. Anyone else would have done the same. No? Or maybe that's just me trying to find an excuse. I know what I did and I'm ready to pay my dues. They're waiting for me outside with these hellish eyes glowing in the dark. All I can do is wait for them. like a failing father.
he felt like a failing father. My father was a failure. Well, I need to watch my stuff. Holy! It's like a Super Mario level. This is like a Super Mario level. <laughs> Look, I'm Donkey Kong. Wait, what? Am I supposed to be able to keep these? What? Oh, you have to put the barrel on the thing. Tara is so smart. Well, damn. Put it on the other one. Um, oh yeah, throw it on there. Okay, I know what to do. So, damn. Um, get that one to go up there. Oh, yeah. An accident, but it, okay, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. But well, how am I supposed to just place them? Do I just hit? Oh, okay. This feels like Super Mario. There another barrel I need. I'm gonna die. Oh my god. Where am I? Wow. I need to watch my stuff. <laughs> wow. Dang it. Can I make a lightning strike twice? Damn. Yeah. This feels unreal. I'm smarter than I look. Whoops. <laughs> I'm dumber than I look. I know what to do. Interesting thing, physics. <laughs> ah, the physics. Oh, my goodness, it just keeps going. Oh. God. I guess the other one finally fell. <laughs> I don't know if I can make it. Eh. Well, wow, <laughs> wow, gotta watch my step. <laughs> Damn, works every time. All right, this feels I'm just fall again. Are you sure there's something over there? 
Yeah, the, the final plate is over there. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Don't fall. Please. <laughs> What is this, Simon Says? What am I doing here? Boom, bam, boom, bam. What am I doing here? Why did they not explain anything? <laughs> it's, you're pressing the wrong button. Okay. Oh. Is it just me or did that change? Yeah, it did. Red, green, red, green. So that means two are right. Ooh. So this one was right then? Yes, it was right. Okay, I'm gonna take that one off and see. Okay, put that back on. No, 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 that one. I'll take the one. Take the one, turn right. Take the. No, drop that. Take that one off, see. I'm a puzzle girl. She really is. I'm a puzzle master with, with this gamer. Yeah. Okay. It was very strange. Oh boy. Alright. Where are we going to figure out the puzzle? Okay. Where is there a hint? That's the real question. Alright. <laughs> Man, I'm too tired for this stuff. Diamond four hex gun six triangles three. Oh my god, it's literally just it's just math. Seriously. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, okay. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
they all have to do simple shape construction. Okay. Oh, what's this now? Sounds like I'm about to condemn someone to hell. Bob, we've known each other since forever. I'm going to ask you something that goes against everything I believe in. You were in the creek the morning with me and the sheriff. We all saw the poor dead girl in the coroner's blanket. I shouldn't have happened, but it did. You also know my son was involved. He can't go to jail juvenile detention where it is they take kids nowadays. He's a child that was an accident. I'm sending him to live with my sister in San Francisco, but I need to get him out of Dormont, but no one can know about the accident. Jack will make sure the investigation is closed. All we need to do is forget that morning. I'm not asking his chief, I'm asking his a friend. Even the fire chief was covering up Annika's death. Oh, it's the metal devil. It's your whole life to help oh, God. That's what the chief did his whole life. I hate you, I hate you. To the fire department, <laughs> I hate you, metal devil. To be a father to his son. This time he didn't forget. And so he colluded with the sheriff to drop the Oh my god. There is so much more to this game. Helped cover up the death of a little girl. How is there so much to this game? Should Keith Bradley really be given his crime? Hopefully this is the last time. I thought this was the end. Even he's like, hopefully this is the last time. Oh I the chief you saved can be his ass for being a good man. Oh well, he was a good man, he was a fireman. We'll forgive him. I thought you were condemning everyone. He's the only one. Alright. Everyone gets one. Except except the cop and the kid. <laughs> You're getting close to where I died. Annika, shut up. Hell kind of name is Annika anyway. Whoa, a bicycle. This is Tara, this is legitimately me going bike riding on those trails. <laughs> Find Annika's dying place. <laughs> That's an interesting way of putting it. Find Annika's dying place. <laughs> this is weird. Oh. oh no, it's Carol. It's <laughs> 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 actually Carol. According to the game. Yeah, I like how she's like, oh Carol. my god, it's Carol. This is her now. We didn't know her, but her name was Carol. We didn't know her, her name was Carol. Well, she didn't she like to wear anything. Yeah, she immediately turned into a horrifying monster. <laughs> we still don't know anything about Carol. <laughs> what if this is what she was just like in real life? I hope we learn about Carol, man. <coughs> Me too. Whoa. Get away from the gate. Oh. I need help. I'm being followed. Go away. Who's that? I'll shoot. He's scary. Well, he's With a gun. Thanks for it's like a scary situation we're in. I need to enter the sawmill. Crazy gun people scare me. Hopefully I can get in around the back. Step away. I'll shoot you, Tara. I have a right to bear arms. And I have a right to stand my ground in the great state of Florida. Why is that just playing there? <laughs> Locked. Great, Something we're gonna freaking condemn a construction worker. And I'll be happy doing it.
Phew, excuse me, my goodness. Pliers. What, I'm gonna ply this, this thing? Okay. I thought it was gonna be like bolt cutters, but apparently I plied the key. Oh, good. Okay. Whew. I thought it was the middle, middle devil. Do you think this is like this guy's favorite song? Things have been <laughs> things have been the same since they found the body in the creek. Soon after, the men started hearing voices and seeing shadows moving between the trees. Today, more workers left. Jesus, Mike and Chuck, or Jesus, Mike and Chuck. So no, as of now, we don't have enough men to keep the summer running under minimal safe conditions. I have no other option to close until we can recruit more people. Jesus loves you like crazy. This is the damn guy who shot at me. I guess I should actually read that then. We installed bets so the workers can spend the night and they're still afraid to come to work. Stupid backwards people to hell with them their crazy ghost stories. Dormont isn't safe anymore. There's no way to leave. My best chance is to wait the wait for help here on the sawmill. I saw some people come, but I closed the front gates and no one get inside. My best chance to survive is being alone. I'm the foreman after all I can do whatever I want. I had to fire a warning shot today to scare some people away. No one's getting inside the plant while I'm here. Oh. Um, hi. You're gone. And it's as simple as that. There was no reason to come in here. I just like turning lights on. Beware of the dog in the bathroom. Nice. I need to head to the office. Well, I guess this is the office. The northwestern fence needs to be repaired ASAP. That thing is almost falling apart. My way out to the other side. Well. Is that my only reason for coming in here? It's just that note. <laughs> to the northwestern fence it's a uh oh carol no carol no carol no she'll never catch me here I dodged Carol. Do you think the Carol got to that guy? Uh oh, Carol. I 
could go through there if they weren't in the way. Tractor light seems to be broken. Maybe you can find a replacement somewhere. Leave me alone, Carol. I mean, can I just, you know... Who are you? Get down. There's plenty of light around. I'm Jeff. I'm in charge here. I can't go down while that monster is down there. Well, what do you want me to do? I need to turn the spotlight and point it at the path. I'm not getting down. Don't touch that light. Then get down here. It's safe. No, don't do that. You can't leave me in the dark. He refused to help anyone who came here. Shot at them to scare them away. Oops, sounds like Shot someone's getting condemned. Tried to kill you. Now he begs you not to touch the light. You could try to find an alternative, but I always say a man's character is his fate. He was going to shoot me. I bet he has shot others. <gasps> This is where I die, every night. You need to stop my mother and end this. I won't be able to help you anymore. Good luck, Edward. 
But this is where it started. What did her mother do to make these events repeat? She was getting the van to help these people on the supermarket. That's what she told me. She got in the van, got away. Left them behind. They're all dead now. There is no such thing as an accident. It is fate misnamed. The smoke is gonna kill her. She'll only survive if I open the door. She's out cold, but at least now she can breathe. Maybe she panicked. Who knows? I can't judge her for that. Those who do not come to church, those who do not believe in the Lord, they deny Jesus. You all know who I'm talking about. The foreigners who came to our God-fearing town. I think they practice with our gods. They have no place in Doramont. You weren't welcome here either. Candles again. This place is imposing. This must mean something. Images on these tiles. 